Greetings, fellow cultists, Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Rimworld Anomaly Death Cult, Episode 76, Sickly Necromancer. So as you can see, the current priority above my head is to continue gestating the War Queen, to get the Dowlash, and make sure that everyone has their appropriate bionics and recruit Sickle. As you can see in the title of the stream, um, this stream very well might be the finale. So if you take a look at our entity codex, we have a singular unknown entity left. I know what it is, but no spoilers. And we are uh, really truly getting ready for what I would consider is the end game. So that is what is going on. Um, so let's do a quick assessment of the Bionics and Avalka, Iolobot, and Glitch. Thank you for the bits, the resubs. Uh, I'll drink to that. Cheers. And Avalka, you resubbing reminded me, uh, you wanted human leather chairs in the research room. So I will get those post haste. So in terms of bionics, we were making sure that everybody had um, quick legs. So Weirlig still needs two legs. And I think that's about it. That is the extent of our required bionics. So that's not that hard to accommodate, I think. Yep, two bionic legs. That looks about right. We are completely out of components and advanced components, so a lot of uh, a lot of the weight for the bionics is from a backlog of just regular old smithing of, of the components, which is fine. The War Queen here is gestating for three more cycles, so that won't be too long. War Queen should be out pretty soon. And uh, Madsen, thank you for the resub as well. And we're also finishing up the Cataphract Armor um, research hoping to roll out some cataphract helmets to our uh, people. And we have four super ghouls. So these four are like totally super tuned and then we have five that are not. Well, these armchairs kind of suck. Oh well. I do have a few extra uh, chips here. Power focus and signal chip. I'm not really sure what I want to do with them. Uh, I could have Crackhead get like a gestation processor, but I don't think it's really all that necessary. I can just move around who owns Jazz's so that that's not an issue. Uh, we could do... Remote repair or repair probe? I mean, uh, remote repair or a remote shield? Or control links. What control link are we at now? Okay, I am going to do a control link for jabs. I also might want to consider adding in a large mech recharger around here. So that when these mechs are damaged and need quick recharging, uh, they don't have to travel too far. Because these giant boss mechs do not move quickly. They move, in fact, the opposite of quickly. Unbelievably snail-like. Probably one charger is enough. Don't think I'll go for two. Alright, we have got our chairs here. Got some nice, creepy human leather chairs in the lab. So here are one of the two remaining bionic legs.
we're in the process of uh Oh, and you know what I just realized is we don't really have power anywhere close to this area, so I'll probably have to lay some cable. Now, in terms of strategic resources... Oh, and uh, Crimson Rust, thank you for gifting out a sub. Uh, we have a lot of plasteel and not as much steel. So if we're getting a War Queen, oh, well, one of the things we might want to consider is a shelf at important of steel so that it can be rearmed quickly. And then I'm probably also going to want to deep drill steel so that we have a nice stockpile of steel waiting for us um, during the crazy events that are to come. The other thing I just realized I could do, and this is a, this is a bit out of scope for a project, but I'm gonna do it anyway. First thing I want to do is to paint the underground steel site so I can actually see where it is. So I had mentioned previously that I kind of wanted to not rely so heavily on the maze over there. I was actually thinking of expanding the maze. So this is like a, you could think of this as like a, a tendril. And what I'm intending to do is gain access. And of course, the path here is like ridiculously long. In fact, I'm going to have you guys vote whether or not you think I should deactivate the twisted obelisk. So let me hold off on that part of the wall here. So we've been using the twisted obelisk uh, to mutate people that are in our roster. Uh, requiring everyone to have at least one mutation. But now that everyone is mutated, I might not need the Twisted Obelisk anymore. Uh, so I'll pull you guys. Should I keep the Twisted Obelisk? Because I could farm a few shards and intentionally deactivate it. I don't think that would be necessarily all that unreasonable. But uh, you guys decide that I want. So the idea here is that uh, we will have uh, access to the steel. And if we want to keep the twist obelisk access to the obelisk, where I can remove this section of the wall, which has been a, a, a regular problem for us. So. I'll have you guys decide that. Now how many shards do I have? One. Okay. So if I want, uh, if I want to destroy that obelisk, I need another shard. Uh, and there's a bunch of different ways that we can get the shards. We could uh, provoke the pit gate. That's a guarantee. Um, we have a lot of, uh, toxic waste, so maybe that would be a good idea to do. Provoke the pit gate, dump all our waste in there, and then grab the shards from the pit gate. Given the state of our current goals, uh, I think it would actually be a breeze. Famous lots of words, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Oh boy, is this a high mate? No, oh, it's a dirt mole. Okay. Wait, they're traitors and capable of social? Ha <laughs> This is gonna be quite the trade. Yeah, uh, my negotiating skills uh, get us a good deal here. Uh, what did I even want from them? I don't remember. Hey, ink black skin. Which doesn't really help us with our super goals, so yeah, never mind. I believe most of these are just weapons from the cultists that we crushed. And I would say crushed is probably a good adjective. Or verb, rather. Because, uh... 
They were truly crushed. Crushed under the weight of our ghouls. Alright, looks to me like you guys do not want the pick gate. I mean, uh, Twisted Obelisk to stay, meaning that I'm going to summon a pick gate. And that will definitely simplify this project here. All right, Queen needs hugging. It's currently my headcanon that he's just hugging the gestator. Uh, shelter for friends. 14, okay, forget that. I mean, I know it's for a Neuroformer. Avalka's already a six. Um, Jazz is a one. I don't know, I could pull for it. It's 11 people for 24 days and they're all paralyzed. That is just simply a stupid... No, no, I'm not even going to consider that. That is just absurd. Deeply absurd. Plus, we don't even have food that would they wouldn't find revolting. Because we pretty much just eat, like, human flesh. Yeah, that quest sounds awful. Uh, yeah, I, I'm right there with you, dude. Sounds horrible. So we have two cycles left on the War Queen. And what is our death rest time? So Valka's due for one sort of soonish. Got it. All right, the eclipse is over. The ghouls look bored. So, hmm. Currently, the north maze is the valid entryway. I think what I'll do is I will um, prep the for pit gate run. And given how close we are to getting cataphract armor, uh, let's stop making recon helmets. Like, just full stop. We don't need those anymore. Sickle should be joining us pretty soon. Man, Sickle, you look very sick. You look awful. Yeah, 1.6. That won't take very long. Point 0.3 now. Okay, cool. Twist Obelisk is going to be deactivated. Copy that. All right. Schedule. Everybody inside. Mechs. We're already set to inside, which is honestly kind of incorrect, but whatever. Uh, Brady Bill, you can dismiss the traitors. Get them to stay safe. Because we actually have allies. It's weird, I know. And let's provoke the pit gate. We haven't had um, a ritual in a while, so I'm going to have... Our main cast and crew be the ones to provoke it. Oh no, there was a psychic ritual. Oh no, no, that's the one we're currently doing. Never mind. Lakiwa, thank you for the resub. By the bye. Sorry, I failed to notice sooner. Crackhead was inspired to move Crackhead fast. Love it. Now hopefully this picket is somewhere close to where our toxic waste is, but we'll see. And that's really unfortunate timing, Combat Supplier. Uh, Skyra, go dismiss them. I just traded with a Combat Supplier, so I know that there's really no other weapon. Well, actually... There were the weapons, like, down here in the left corner. 
But I don't think I can get many of these within... No, I can get some of them within stockpile. That is a messy stockpile. Okay. Uh, Skyra, you are just gonna, like, give them those weapons. And then tell them to run. It's a gift. Where are they? Here they are. One, two, three. That's mine. Alright, that's... Uh, I think that looks about right. They literally did not... It did not affect... Goodwill at all, but like, why would it? They were junk. And we have a pit gate opening to... The southeast. Cool. So, the intention here... What I plan to do is probably to isolate this geothermal geyser, or generator rather, uh, removing all the walls around it. Basically, every everything within the plan, well, the plan here gets destroyed, and then maybe expanding the fire maze a little bit out further, because the fire maze is, um, uh, could be bigger. That's something I just noticed. The Z for Jazz is, like, a hell of a lot larger than the Z for Avalka. Is he sleeping harder? <laughs> like, what? And what's his secret? Because I would love to sleep harder. Maybe it's part of his name, because his name is Jazz. It's just Jazz. Okay, I'm slightly sorry about that. That's weird. Control sublink standard. Oh, I probably just don't... Yeah, I don't have the components for it. War Queen's out in about 17 hours. This is the last gestation, or second to last gestation hug. Nineteen hours. Excuse me. Who wants to set the fire? Not a lot of people. No one's up, except for Jazz and Avalka, which is a bit of a problem because they're scared of fire, but I'm going to have them do that anyway. Face your fears and all, right? The other thing, I, I wanted to deconstruct this wall there because I don't want it. Okay, pick gate opened. Damn it. Big Brody, don't... Don't mess with my weapon. And emergence. So they have a valid path here. Fire will spread. Maybe I want a little bit more fire, actually. I think we were about to whittle uh, Sickle's um, resistance down to, like, near zero, though. <laughs> he fled. Reminds me of, uh, like a video I just saw of, like, a kid controlling a, uh, like a five-year-old or something. Controlling a, uh, remote control spider. And then, like, he forgot that he was in control, and the spider, like, chased his feet and he freaked out. It's like, you're the one doing it. Remind me of that, because... Jazz was the one throwing the Molotovs, and then he got scared of it. All right, so here comes the pit gate response. And then once the flesh beasts are all dead, I'll finish off the deep drill site and remove all these extra walls that we no longer need. Sickle's resistance is zero. So next time we talk to him, he will join. And then Weirleg, I'm gonna have you go to the hospital because the bionic legs for you are finishing. 
And Avalka has an inspired surgery, so might as well use that up. That is a lot of little things, huh? Whoa, Scorpio! Thank you for the gifted subs! And shield resub? You guys are far too generous. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Jazz was escaping. He's not set to inside. Thank you for that. I'm a distractible idiot. So the rest of these things, um... Yo! Oh, hello. Okay, they can only get this far, but, like, let's deal with that. So, I'm gonna have... These ghouls go north, these ghouls hold the door. Come on, tough specs. No, don't hit my geothermal. Just stop that. Alright, weird league, you have left. The left is left. I might not be able to save this geothermal. The, uh... Let's see if I can't have... I don't know what Dave's repair skill is, but I'm gonna have Dave try to repair it. If I hold this choke point here, we'll be okay. Bang face, come help me with the finger spike. <laughs> Alright, I don't think that there's gonna really be any anything coming through the maze anymore. And if it does, there I've got two diabolises waiting there, so it's not a big deal. Alright, so apart from the random finger spikes that might leap over, uh, we are keeping this geothermal safe. Those ghouls are taking a beating, so I am sending them back up. They might die, but as you all know, dead ghouls heal quick. Not too much of a problem. In fact, I'm gonna have fish pickles bust a hole out of this wall to be able to come to the aid of the ghouls in here sooner. The other thing I could do is, and I was talking about uh, this with actually fish pickles uh, in YouTube comments, is if I set the ghouls up to unrestricted, because their um, response is to fight by default, right? Once I unrestrict them, they will just, like, automatically auto-target things. Which is, like, pretty useful. Alright, so Lord X died. Moxie is downed. I'll have Crackhead. Actually, Crackhead, why aren't you just, uh, fabricating? Don't hit my fang face. Hey, Jamil do die. So the only other worry that I have here is the dead ghouls that are here are kind of close to the fire now. So I'll have to keep an eye on that to make sure that, uh, the fire doesn't spread in a bad way. I could also send a Valka over to just, like, water skip. Maybe I'll do that. She's not too fond of fire, either. But most of the, um... Most of the flesh beasts that are up in this area are already, uh... Beaten. Uh, Carthrain. You only use 1% of your brain. Let's have you go resurrect some ghouls.
And water skip leaves behind water on the ground, which acts as like a fire buffer, which is really nice to keep fire from spreading closer towards somewhere you don't want overtaken. Fish pickles, come back out of here. He's like completely unharmed by all of that, which is hilarious. Uh, Sickle has joined. Welcome, newest member. So, a little reminder. Sickle can resurrect the dead into shamblers. Not one with a lot of skills. He does have res psychosis, so we're waiting on Carthrain to get a natural healing cooldown. Um, also, the addition of Sickle means that we're going to want two additional bionic legs. And it also means that we're going to raffle him off, because he was not ever raffled. So, good luck. Good luck. Good luck in the raffle to you subscribers. You have the atrocious level shooting. Um, I don't really have the materials for a better weapon at the moment, so I'm going to have you get a nerve spiker. Carthrain just resurrected Mildew, and we're going back for Lordex now. Sickle also needs to mutate at least once. So before I deactivate the obelisk, I will have him mutate too. Alright, um... All of my ghouls into the fishbowl, except for Fish Pickles, who is completely unscathed. And Fish Pickles will keep fighting. Marnius, thank you for the resub. Welcome, dude. My money's on fish pickles in this fight. What do you guys think? Oh, and Lorix. Wow. Thank you for the gifted subs. Mr. Kilgore. Alright. Sickle gained a what? Flush tentacle on his left shoulder. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, Fish Pickles just soloed the remainder of the Flesh Beasts. That is disgusting. Alright, we are safe to lift zoning restrictions. I kind of wish you could, like, lock these in. Because when you're doing zoning restrictions, you can bleed into scheduling. Which is, like, kind of unintended. And then mechs... You can leave the base, too. Right, let me update the priority here. War Queen, Dowlash, Bionics, and Zoning. I'm just going to call it Zoning, which is to set up for the Steel Deep Drill and that stuff. Alright, so all of the Flesh Beasts are done. Cool. So the War Queen's out in seven hours, and then all of the waste generated by the War Queen will, um, will get to be filtered out. Sickle, did you ever have a mental break? No, you still have human shame. Okay, unfortunately for you, friend, uh, you're gonna be naked, and you are no, f uh, let's create a new food policy. No food. Basically, I want to... And no drugs. I want to force a mental break on him. I did it to the wrong person, though. Um, so that he inhumanizes. Yeah, time to break him the cruel way, exactly. Cat armor is done. Neato. 
What do we want next? Oh, fire's encroaching on Lordex as he's laying there. I think he should be okay. And we don't really have any place for additional entities, so I'm not sweating that. No, oh, Brady Bill doesn't know how to fight fires and just walked into it. Good. Neat. Glad to know that uh, I've enslaved an idiot. I was kind of expecting the game to auto-rain me already, but it didn't. All right, that's the sickle timer. Let's go into Logan Black. Congrats. Good name for a dude that uh, resurrects dead. Very good name. Once the ghouls are fully healthy, I'll send them into the pit to kill the Dreadmeld. So we're working on Logan Black's, um... Oh, you never ended up getting your, uh, weapon. Logan Black's mental break. I'll give him a bedroom, but he's not allowed to sleep. Well, actually, I could have done that too. I didn't. But I could have. I should have. But it looks like he's bound for a mental break in just a second here. And the War Queen's done. Uh, that means another giveaway timer for the War Queen. So good luck. I find it funny that the ghouls that died are like ready to fight sooner than the ghouls that got wounded. Which is just how fast you can res ghouls. It's ridiculous. There it is. War Queen head to the combat mech zone. And then go dormant. We got an exotic good straight overhead. I have a lot of Nutrimine. I don't have a lot of components. I'm not above just like buying them because of the amount of money that I have. I think that's fine. Um, I have way too much Ambrosia. I should probably use the shield cores. Oh, there is a lot of gene packs on this uh, trader. Interesting. Water skip, skip. Avaka has skip, correct? I, like, can't remember. I'll buy the lances. How are we doing? We we're pretty good in gold. Bucket, do you have skip? You do. Yeah, you do. Okay. Now, deconstruction jobs are, like, the lowest priority for construction, so I'm just going to manually do it. Because otherwise, it's never going to get done. Jazz is side trained as well, but he's only a side caster level 1. And I don't even have him bother with side focus. He has burden and uh, pain block. I just didn't think it was all that important for him to bother with... Uh, also being a side caster because he's just not going to be a good one.
He is ridiculously fast, yes. It's because he has two architect legs. He's got Glucosid Rush times four. And um, he's a vampire with fast runner gene. If he was a jogger with very fast runner gene, he'd be even more ridiculous. I actually... I, I, the equation changed a little bit, but uh, a little while back before Anomaly released, I did like a, a breakdown of how fast can uh, pawns go. And it is ridiculous. What's going on here? Logan Black should be starving, but everyone else is like hungry. Cooked meals. Allows them to eat simple, lavish, fine. I have simple, lavish. I don't. And then you guys have nutrient paste and there's. Why are you hungry? This is really strange. So, like, for instance, Skyward's really hungry right now, right? Skyward set up... Maybe I messed up nutrient paste meals. Let me take a look at that. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, that explains it. When I was making Logan Black's Don't Eat, I messed up the nutrient paste meal queue. That explains a lot. All right, so we're just waiting on Broloki and Seal, and then we'll have them go down into the pit. And the War Queen giveaway goes to E36 variant. That's a good name for a War Queen. Neurosis Pulse is done. And that, um, oh, actually that reminds me. I want to provoke the void. Let's get that done as well. I'm gonna get the War Queen off of that queue there. Get the Dalash, Bionics, and Steel, Mining, and uh, Twisted Disable. I'm just going to call it Twisted Disable. Shorthand for the Twisted Obelisk getting neutralized. Oh, I don't have work priorities for Logan, do I? Uh, I saw him cooking and then immediately worried that he's uh, like a bad cook. He is a pretty bad cook, but he has a passion in it, so I'm going to allow him to do it. Structure booty. Okay. You say so. And a prison break of Porter. Um. Yeah, the question I had was like, why is Porter even allowed to prison break? I guess I didn't blood bag him and that would be my fault. Because everyone else in there is blood bagged. Hey, uh, may I introduce you to my ghoul, Zaleb? If you make it past Zaleb, you get to go free. Hmm, no, you failed. You don't get to be free. Alright, Void Provocation is complete. And this is the last advanced entity that exists. All right, so you lost, and that means you lose your heart. That's just that's just how the rules go. All right, ghoulies. Oh, actually, before we enter the pit gate, let's move the waste in there. No, if if he be, if he beat Zaleb, I would have let him go free. I would have been really really impressed that someone beat uh a ghoul in a fair fight. Thank you for tuning in to Rimmeld Anomaly Death Call, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 7th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to join a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. 
Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream of another game. Farewell, my fellow cultists. <laughs>